Let's talk about the journey between now and ascension. At the point of ascension, something profound happens to your body. Your consciousness before the ascension point will have already elevated. Your consciousness is not the part of you that is going to be monumentally transformed and transcendent because it will have already done that. That's what you're practicing for right now every single day. The point of ascension is the point wherein your body undergoes a transformation. I can't say a final transformation in the sense that it's never going to continue to transform because we're always evolving things. But it's final in the sense that it's the final shift out of 3 and 4D manifestations of the body consciousness and finally into the 5D version of you which is a lighter bodied version. If you were right now to see that 5D body you know what you would see? You would see something that you would probably describe as an angelic being or an ethereal being or a higher consciousness being. Why would you say that? Because it's going to radiate light. There is something ethereal about that being that looks almost like you could put your hand through it but not quite. There's a solidity to it but there's a light to it simultaneously. That's what it would look like to you right now. However, when you're in 5D, do you know what you're going to look like to yourself and to others? This. You're going to look as solid as you do right now because all of you will have ascended, including your vision, all of you will have ascended into a higher version wherein all of that light begins to look more solid. This is very natural. This is very normal. There's always going to be a lag between where consciousness is and where the body is, at least until we ascend. And this is frustrating because sometimes your consciousness is going to go to realms, places, epiphanies, higher awareness, higher understanding. And then you're going to open your eyes and you're going to go, but the world around me doesn't match where I am. The world around me is wrong. The, I've got to get out of here. None of the world around you is wrong. In fact, it is your very purpose to bring and ground into this reality all of that higher consciousness. So at times, you're going to be called upon to witness the madness, witness the chaos, witness all of the unfolding, discombobulating madness that you're witnessing right now doesn't matter what country in the world you're in. doesn't matter. I guarantee you, hands down, there's crazy stuff going on in your political system that you thought to yourself, I'm never going to see that happen. And yet you are. This is because we are in the end times and end time madness is upon us. This sounds ominous. This sounds terrible, but it's not. Because the end times is exactly the herald for the new beginning that you're here to usher in. And I want to talk to you today about what happens between now and ascension. If we know that ascension is that final flash, that final transcendent point wherein you are shifted into higher consciousness in the physical vehicle, in the body form. The body doesn't die. The body shifts phase, shifts form in such a way that the body becomes not an eternal exactly version of you, but a mostly eternal. And let me describe what I mean by that, mostly eternal. You can see English language really lacks the words to describe where we're going in consciousness. When I say mostly eternal, what I'm saying to you is age is not going to happen where we're going into an ascended 5D reality. Aging and disease is not going to happen, certainly not in the way it does now. You're always going to have things to overcome. You're always, and this is disappointing, I know, to a lot of people. What? What does she mean? I'm, I'm going to have to work on myself still? Yeah, but with pleasure, with joy, with gratitude, with humility, it's going to become working on yourself is not going to become what many people see it as right now. Many people see working on themselves from the perspective of victimhood. Why do I have to do this again? Poor me. Struggle, struggle. From the 5D perspective, oh, yay. Oh, baby, yeah, I get to shift something. I get to evolve more. I get to elevate deeper, higher, expand my consciousness even more. Oh, what a thrill. So that's where you're going and how you will see that continual expansion. 
So there's always going to be inner work, but the body won't be catalyzed by disease, by mayhem, by aging, by the results of aging, like aches and pains and the body falling apart and the memory losing itself mid-sentence, all those kinds of things. Instead, you're going to see that the body reverts to its natural state, its natural longevity, because the lifespan of this vehicle, this sacred, divine vehicle. Please, can you start looking at the body through new eyes? This sacred divine vehicle is not meant to last you 60 years, 70 years, not meant to start breaking down at 50. It's meant to start living what we would call midlife, 50. That, that's just you starting out. That's just you starting life. Hundreds of years, thousands even. But here's the kicker for me anyway. Number one, we're going to revert in age. As we move into higher consciousness, you're going to see the body gets younger, the body youths instead of aging. Okay, that's going to happen. But you're also going to see that the body is going to reach its homeostasis, which means the body's going to land up presenting itself at the age that is your optimal age. For most women, that's around 32. Uh, sorry, I got it wrong. For most men, that's around the age of 32. For most women, that's around the age of 29. I know, I could totally be 29 again. And do you know that my 29-year-old version would have a straight nose? Look how skew. Have you guys seen that? Uh, I'm more and more aware because I've got a sinus infection at the moment. I'm more and more aware of how very skew my schnoz is. But these are, we all have that, right? You have those things going on with your body that you're going, oh, you know, my shoulder's stiff. My knees don't bend like they used to. I've got this ailment, whatever it is. And I want you to imagine yourself either in a pristine body that never had the accidents, aches, pains, diseases that you had. Imagine if I never had the fall that broke my nose. All of those things. Imagine you at your optimal. Round about the age, at least what we would call that physical age, women 29, men 32. I mean, you would just be so filled with life force. Then the body's going to reach a thousand years if it wants to if you want to, as the soul, because now the soul and the body will not be separate at ascension and 5D consciousness. You experience the body and the soul in communication. We experience it here in 3D as separation. And by the way, a lot of people have asked me this question. Where did 4D go, Kerry? You always talk about 5D and you talk about 3D. Hello, did we totally miss 4D? We actually didn't. It, it's a longer story and I have released videos on it, believe it or not. But 4D is a very dreamlike space in between 3 and 5. And 4D is actually what we're in right now. We're actually in 4D right now, but it's very similar to 3D. And 4D, like all dimensions, appears in octaves. So we've got lower 4D, we've got upper 4D. Upper 4D is very similar to 5D, lower 4D very similar to 3D, but there's a lot of time anomalies in 4D. Do you guys start understanding now why I've released so many videos recently about time and I'm going to be releasing more because I want to do a future self-conversation with you. This is because we're in 4D. Okay, so I didn't forget 4D. It really does exist, but we're going to experience ourselves in bodies as we move into 5D that are more eternal, more, more true versions of who we are. Isn't that a gorgeous thing? The body that you're in is primed. It is exactly the right one. Hmm? I say this because a lot of you think my body's too this, too old, too decrepit, too incapable of doing something as astounding as ascending. I've heard people say that, oh, my body's just had it. You know, it's, it's, it's ruined. I'm going to have to get a new one. No, you don't. Ascension means the complete transcendence of the false matrix. Disease and aging is of the false matrix. So as you ascend, you're going to find yourself in lighter versions of the body. What happens between now and ascension? I know a lot of people say, carry, carry, carry. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. And to you, I say, well, you're almost wise. You're almost wise in saying that, but it's not even about the journey. It's about the now. It's not about the destination. It's not even about the journey. It's about the now. In other words, where are you right now? Can you be where you are right now? See, now is a three-letter word, N-O-W. I can spell it, therefore I know it. That's how we've been conditioned to think in 3D. I spell it. I logically understand it. I have a linear understanding of what it is. Therefore, I'm in the now, Kerry. I'm, what, what are you talking about? Mm. It's a point of mastery. 
Getting into the now is what happens when you stand still and let all of life catch up to you. Being in the now is what happens when you are un enslaved and you become the authority and the creator of your life you stop being chased by the clock and you stop chasing the clock and you start having the clock answerable to you you start having the clock in other words the time matrix conforming to and bending itself to your creative will your creative power this happens because you are a creator the likes of which I know we've heard stories about the secret, we've heard stories about the law of attraction, but you're a creator at a level that none of those things have ever come close to explaining to you. They've all focused on, oh, you can manifest a new car, you can manifest a new house, or even a, a body that is uh, without disease, but that's tip of the iceberg tip of the iceberg because all of those things are dependent on outcomes they're outcomes based things you're a creator and if you stop allowing yourself to think about the outcome like the destination oh what happens when I ascend Where, where's my destination stop thinking about the outcome in terms of what it is that you're manifesting stop being outcomes focused and start being now in the now life happens and you're missing it if you don't get in here there are meditations on my website and there's many of them I always talk about the deep relaxation trilogy it's simple it's easy anyone can do it especially the people that say I can't meditate deep relaxation trilogy is absolutely for you but there's many go have a look and go spend time in the now because each one of them is a journey there into the sacred timelessness called now so go explore yourself there Lots of love from my heart all the way into yours. Bye-bye for now, everyone.